when you're you're doing your classes, uh, your contemporary singing classes, mm-hmm. when someone comes in and says, "I am an alto," mm-hmm. but I want to sing um, uh, whatever it is, I want to sing. Uh, I can't even think of a soprano-ish voice in like contemporary. Jesse Jane or something. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I want to get up there and I want to be able to do that lovely resonate, resonated vowel things mm-hmm. with lots of riffs and stuff like that. But they say that I can't because I'm an alto. What do I do? I, I would say that um, I would first. I would ask them why. I would kind mm-hmm. of make sure that we get to the why and get to the 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 real reason and make sure that it's definitely a goal that they want and that they're not just doing for somebody else or. Right you know to prove something to somebody or yeah you know we would do the holistic get to the why first and then i'm like okay well you know that your voice your tessitura sits here this is very natural for you so you're going to reconfigurate your vocal track shapes and your vibratory patterns to a certain extent it's going to take a bit of time your body has a memory of doing things a certain way are you ready to be you know it's a lot of like kind of brain work like tra- braining or <laughs> training your brain to kind yeah. of remember new sounds dial them in and repeat them and remember them dial them in repeat them and you know you are moving away from maybe where they naturally sit and you you want to make sure you have really good reason for doing that mm-hmm. um and if i'm happy with their reason then we'll definitely look at it but i i suppose i wouldn't like try to stray too far away from where their voice naturally has a lot of beauty and has a lot of ease a lot of performers when they when they're going to a gig they kind of go whoa hold on a second i've done all my training i've, I've done my warm-ups i've done my things the past couple of days and now i'm in this moment of whoa what mm-hmm. do i do yeah so i usually have found that it can be that you psych yourself out sometimes a little bit it's like when when coronavirus first started being a thing you know, I don't know, did you have any days where I woke up and I was like, <clears throat> no, 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 I actually, I think I might have it. It's because I was reading about it, thinking about it, you know, obsessing over it. Right. So then if you are obsessing over this gig and you're thinking, and you're like, you better work on Saturday. And like, <laughs> then you sit into the car and you're like, it's not working. <clears throat> no, that's dry. That is dry. <clears throat> no, it's definitely dry. No, I'm dry. And then, you know, the neck muscles are tensing. You are making yourself dry because you're like... <laughs> Yeah. And maybe I don't know what's going on but your your nervous system and your cortisol levels are flying up and you probably need to actually just check yourself and you know you know and I've done this to myself so many times mm. I've used EFT an emotional freedom technique I've done a bit of tapping so that's really good for calming me down and I say cool. um negative um, beliefs that I'm having like I'm not good enough I'm not going to I'm going to crack on that note I'm not good enough I'm not able for this and um, why am I even doing this I don't um, belong uh, leading a band la 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 all that like negative stuff and then I reprogram it and be like no you've practiced for this you've been studying this for years they want you to be good and be great the audience are there to see you and they want to have a great time and so i start kind of reprogramming <laughs> my mindset and usually by the time i if when any time that i have done that and i have like you know set a, an affirmation like i'm going to make sure the band have a really good time tonight it's mm. my responsibility i'm taking it on i want them to have fun and i want the audience to have fun i want everyone to have fun because i was there tonight and i take the obsession over about myself away and that actually relaxes me an awful lot as well you know that like everybody isn't obsessing or listening in the detail to you that you think that they are they're just there to have a good night they're on a work party they're on a they're living their own lives so shifting your mindset. So mindset would be my my protocol there. Yeah. Yeah. If it was physical, I mean, I would definitely, if you have an opportunity not to talk at all before the gig, even like an hour or two hours straight of rest would be brilliant and pop into the cubicle with a straw and do a few glides and off you go. <laughs> I would say that would be like my physical protocol there. Yeah, but in yeah. the long run, I would say it's a looking at the gigs as a as the marathon and the you know you do your jog daily every day and you prepare adequately um your mindset and your physicality and your vocals and 